Hey guys, what's up? How you doing? This is just a quick short testimony video. Just how powerful the Lord is, you know? Jehovah Jireh once again, man. Jehovah Jireh once again. I actually recorded a testimony video a couple of weeks ago. There was no space on my phone. I deleted stuff. I finally got space on my phone. Finally recorded the video. But then when I tried to post it, it wouldn't post. You know, I tried once, twice, three times. It still wouldn't post. And so I'm like, Lord, you know, like what's going on? And so I began to be kind of down. But then I started to realize, man, like, yo, the devil doesn't want people to hear this. Like literally, the devil does not want you to hear this testimony and so eventually you know yes i did get defeated i i must say um the video wouldn't post i needed space on my phone so i ended up deleting it you know and you know it really is crazy because when you think about testimonies man testimonies are of such a nature that like when you hear somebody else's testimony or like how god worked in somebody else's you know in somebody else's life it's almost like you're inspired and you believe like man god you could do that for me you know and that's the experience that the devil doesn't want the devil doesn't want you to see god working in somebody else's life and say man god i believe you could do the same for me you know and so i don't care we're gonna make this happen we're gonna record this video and by the grace of God whosoever it's designed for will see it friends I have a car I have a car payment a car note a certain amount of money comes out of my my bank every two weeks now um, though my bank you know though my my payment comes out every two weeks I get paid not on a consistent basis because of the nature of my job so I might get paid every week or maybe every three weeks it just depends right and so my bank doesn't care they want their money when they want their money right I can't call my bank say hey I never got paid oh can I no like they want their money you know and so my car payment was coming up the time was coming up but I didn't know where I was gonna get the money from and I'm just like Lord honestly you know I don't know but, you know, I wasn't worried because I'm like, you know what, I'll just borrow the money from somebody, you know, from one of my friends. And when I get paid, I'll just give it back to them, you know. Nevertheless, um, I'm like, you know what, okay, start being proactive a couple of days before my car payment, pay, you know, calling people, hey, can you lend me money? Can you this, that's this, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, but every single person is telling me the same thing, you know, like, bro, like, I can't right now. I need money for this. And I'm just like, you know what, I understand. And literally, it came down to, like, the day before my car payment, no money. And, you know, you're thinking, like, you know, God's going to provide. And you're like, yeah, you know, like, trying to have faith. Boom, car payment comes, no money, you know. And it just sucks because, like, when you don't pay your bill, it's like I have two banks. One bank that my car note comes out of and then one bank that I do daily banking from, right? Now, the, the, car, the bank that my car note is with, if the money's not in there, then, you know, they'll just try again, like, the next week, you know. But the bank that I do my daily banking with, they'll charge me a $50 NSF fee. So it sucks even more, you know. And so I'm praying with one of my friends. I'm like, hey, bro, you know, pray for me. I'm trying to get this money for the car payment. You know, I, I've never missed a car payment before, and so I don't like this, you know. So we're praying, and he's just like, you know what, bro, I'll send you some money. Boom, the man sends me 50 bucks. Where do you think the 50 bucks goes? It can't even go to my car payment because my bank charged me an NSF fee. And so I'm like, Lord, like mercy, you know? Boom, car payment needs to get paid. Have no money. Call my bank. Let me try to be proactive. Let me try to be mature about this. Call my bank. Talk to them. I've never missed a car payment. There's one discrepancy before where, you know, there's some, you know, miscommunication between my bank and me. And so my bank is just like, you know what? We'll take out double the money in two weeks from now, you know? And so everything was perfectly fine. But this time now, I call my bank, and they're like, oh, if you don't have the money there by Tuesday, we're going to send it to collections. I'm like, collections? You know what? No, I, no, I can't be going to no collections, man. And so, yeah, you know, I start praying even more. I'm like, Lord, by Tuesday, if it's not in there, like, it's going to go to collections. Like, Lord, like, you're really not trying to have me go to no collections, Lord? And I'm praying, and, you know, though I, I, I'm praying and I'm sort of, a, you know, um, not worried, but, like, I don't even know how to explain the feeling. I still have, like, this peace that I can't really understand, you know? And so I was praying with one of my friends and I remember praying these exact words. I'm like, honestly, God, my friends are saying they have no money. I don't know where money's gonna come from, but honestly, I'm waiting to, the t to tell the testimony. Literally, I said those exact words. I'm like, God, I don't know where the money's gonna come from, but I'm waiting to tell the testimony, you know? And so, yeah, man, um, just prayed. I prayed. Sunday came, no money. Sunday evening, no money. Monday came, I'm like, Lord, tomorrow, you know, just praying. Monday morning, no money. Monday afternoon, no money. Monday evening, I'm like, you know what? I can't just sit around here just like trying to think that money's going to come from nowhere. You know what? I'm just going to keep on going, keep on praying. Let me record a YouTube video, you know? And so I was working a night shift that day. So before I was working, I'm just like, you know what? Let me try to get this YouTube video in. So I start recording the YouTube video. Usually I put my phone on silent or airplane mode and I, you know, put it to the side. But it's right beside me this time. It's on regular, vibrate, whatever, right? Or loud as a matter of fact. And so... I'm doing my video in the middle of my video I see my dad calling 
And so when I see my dad calling, I'm just like, man, should I answer this? I have to answer. It's my dad, right? And so I pick up the phone now. Hey, dad, what's up? How you doing? Um, hey, Drew, I'm okay. How you doing? I'm okay. Um, Drew, yeah. Can you check your account? Can I check my account? Yeah, I can check my account. You know, what's going on? He's just like, um, you know, to give you a little bit of the backdrop, my dad has um, all of his, you know, children's name on his phone so that when he wants to send money electronically, he could just click one simply and then send the money, you know? He's not too tech savvy, but he knows how to do that, right? And so he's just like, Andrew, can you check your account? I'm like, okay, yeah. You know what the man said? Mercy, man, you'll never believe it. The man said, Andrew, I was supposed to send money to your stepmom but I by accidently, I don't know, clicked your name. And can you check in your bank account to see if this much money's in there? Literally, it's the exact amount of money pretty much that I need for my, my, my car payment. And so I'm like, what? But then he's just like, you know, I'm thinking like, now I'm like being torn between two because he's like, you know, if you see the money in there, can you, um, you know, send it back to me? And so I'm like, Lord, like, <laughs> I feel like my emotions are being played with, you know? But I still have that peace. You know, I'm like, you know what, Lord, this is either the, the devil trying to play with me or you're just trying to show me, like, just trust you, you know, just trust you. And so my dad is just like, you know, if you see it in there, can you send it back to me? And so I'm just like, okay, you know, boom, I check. The money's not there, right? And so I'm like, okay, you know, maybe um, my dad just, uh, you know, maybe he thought that he sent it to me when he really sent it to my, you know, my stepmom. And so it's crazy because, um, yeah, you know, the money wasn't there. So I went to work that same night. Now it's the following day. Now it's Tuesday. I was working all throughout the day. We finished at like five. Now, clearly I wasn't really, I couldn't be thinking about the car payment while I was at work. Now I had to have the money in there by like six o'clock. Now it's five o'clock, literally time out, right? And so I'm like, okay, like, what do I do? But then I remembered, okay, boom, let me check to see if the money's in my account. So I look at my phone now and yo, money's right there. And I'm like, mercy. Now, I'm at a knot. I could either call my bank and say, hey, um, the money's in there. Yeah, take your money. Everything is good. I could call my dad and have him tell me to send the money back to him. Nevertheless, um, I called my dad. You know, that was the right thing to do. I'm just like, you know what? It's not like, it doesn't make sense. You know, like this, what type of testimony would this be? Nah, I have to call my dad, you know. And if even if they have to send me to collections, and to collections we go. And so I called my dad, still had this piece. I call my dad, dad, how you doing? I'm good. I'm like, dad, um, the money that you said, you know, you're supposed to send to um, my mom. Um, yeah, it's in, the, uh, it's in the, the bank account. And he's just like, oh, okay, okay, it is. I'm like, yeah. Um, then the man just said something that blew my mind. Simple, but it blows my mind. He's like, you know what, honestly, I'll just give her $200 when I get paid. Um, hold on to it, you owe me. Oh, the man said I'll just give like why wouldn't he just say send it back he's like yo if she needed money right then and there he's like don't worry I'll just send it to her on Thursday when I get paid hold on to the money you owe me come on man there's nothing better there's nothing sweeter than hearing a parent say you owe me seriously like that's that's a bill you can play you can pay whatever you know even if they want you to pay it back. And so when I thought about it, I'm like, God, what? Like, you mean to tell me I needed this money. You made them go into my account. There be no money. Literally brought me down to the last hour. And the excuse is he really was supposed to send the money to someone else, but he by accident sent it to me? Man, who is that, man? That is only God, yo. That is only God. That literally is only God, yo, man. When I really was pondering, at, you know, as I was driving home, I'm like, yo, Lord, you really just sent an angel to make the man make a mistake and literally send me the, exactly the amount of money I need and some. I could have bought myself lunch. Literally, I bought myself some lunch, have some money to give to God, and boom, pay my car payment. You know, so just be encouraged. I'm going to shoot part two of this. Um... You know, depending on, on just when I get the time and stuff. But literally, I have some testimonies from how we, you know, what, what happened in Barbados. Like, it was just powerful. And so my encouragement to you, man, is just be blessed, you know. Like, be inspired that this is not about me. You know, like, I was reluctant to, to, to do the video. I just felt uncomfortable. It's almost like God is like, yo, like, you're really not going to post a video? You're not going to make a testimony about this? Tuesday came. Wednesday came. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to make a video. Not happening. Thursday came. Yeah, I'm going to make a video. Not happening. 
And to the Lord is literally, I began to feel uncomfortable. So I don't know who this video, video is for, but it's definitely for someone. And yeah, I mean, just be encouraged, you know? Be encouraged, man. The same thing God did for me. I'm not special, more special than anybody else. Um, I am special, praise God. But I'm not more special than you are. You're special as well. And so what God does for me, God can do for you. And this is what the Bible really is about, right? Reading an ancient testimony. What God did for the children of Israel, did for Moses, did for Joshua, did for Gideon. Literally, he could do for you. And so the God of the impossible, of the Bible, is the same God today, right? And so the last thing I want to say is, there's a text in the Bible in the book of Romans 4. And the Bible says that God calleth those things which not as though they were. And it's crazy because when you think about that, that's, that's what a lie is, right? Like if I call something that's not at, as though it is, that's a lie. It's just like me saying, guys, what up? I'm six foot four. I'm like five eight, five nine, you know? But if I say I'm six foot four, that is not. But I'm calling it like it is. What is that? That's a lie. But the Bible said God calls those things which be not as though they were. Now, is that a lie? Does God lie? The Bible says it's impossible for God to lie. So what does that mean then? How do you reconcile those? How could God call the things which be not as though they were, but then have a nature that's impossible to lie? Like, how does that even make sense? Friends, this is how it makes sense. When God, call, when God calls something as though it is, even though it wasn't, it means that whatever God calls, literally in his word, the thing comes to fruition. God says you're 6'4", boom. In the word itself, literally, makes me 6'4". What I'm saying is, guys, honestly, um, if God gives you a promise in his Bible that he'll provide for you, in his very name, in his very name, he called himself the provider. Man, don't let any bill bully you. Do not let any bill bully you. Please, I hashtag that. Do not make any bill bully you. God will provide. And this is my two cents, man. You know, stay tuned for the next video. I love you guys. And yeah, I know the sun was setting. Praise God. Happy Sabbath, as a matter of fact. Um, and yeah, keep me in prayer. Subscribe on YouTube. You know, please share these videos so that whoever it's designed to reach can reach. And that, yeah, man, we could eventually, you know, make YouTube my full-time job. You know what I mean? Because I, I, I love to do this. I love to inspire. I love to educate. That's me. You know, I watch so many things on the internet that's entertaining. But it, it, um, it, it lacks education and inspiration. And so how am I inspire you? How am I educate you? You know, let's do this together. Subscribe, like this video, share this video, please. So that the whole world can know. God bless you. I love you. Maranatha.